Case of position, whatever that means. I don't know what that means. I was going to tell you to find a seat, but you won't be sitting long, so. Anyway, welcome to Southgate. We're going to get started. Um, for those of you that are here on time, <laughs> I want to explain just a thing or two to you this morning. Oh, my God. All right. Shh. Awesome. The, uh, I want to explain a thing or two to you this morning. We've invited Kent to come and lead worship here this morning. Awesome, baby. And, uh, and, and what we're going to do this morning is worship. Wow. And so we'll start here in a moment or two, and we'll go through the morning. We'll take a time. We'll break in the middle because the kids are going to go to children's ministry and whatnot, and then we'll worship some more. That's what we're doing today. So just so you're aware of that. Also, what is happening is that Kent is seizing this weekend opportunity to also record right. um, some CDs, musical projects, and so forth. So Please make sure you silence your phones yes. right now. Right now. He wouldn't even let me bring my tambourine this week. That's right. Oh. Not that I had one, but, you know. <laughs> that would be a disaster. Wouldn't that be cool if we all, like, had a, a tambourine choir? No. 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 <laughs> no. I locked all those tambourines up. All right. So that's what we're doing this morning. Yeah. It's kind of anniversary month. I'll talk to you more about that later in the morning. But uh, let us pray together, and yes. uh, we're going to worship the Lord. Let's stand together. Could we do that? I should say that Bill and Peggy Gorell are in the house today. They, they haven't repented. They haven't moved back, but they are here from Arizona. <laughs> so they haven't repented yet. We're praying. Sanctification. Good, like Carl. Father, we're so grateful for your goodness, your glory, your wonder, your affection. We're so grateful this morning that you alone are God, that you alone are Savior. You are the one that rescues and saves and delivers. God, there's hope in no one else. There's joy and rejoicing in no one else but you. God, we're so grateful today for the salvation that we've encountered in you, our, our forgiveness, our reconciliation with you. God, we're so grateful today that we have freedom in Christ Jesus. And so today we want to celebrate you. We want to rejoice in you. We want to declare your goodness over our own lives, our own families, over this uh, you know, a neighborhood, this region of the earth. As hundreds of churches across St. Louis are worshiping you this morning, God, we join our hearts, our voices with those other churches to just say, Jesus, you are Lord. Jesus, we want you to rule and reign in our city and in our hearts. And we release this meeting, Lord, into your leadership now in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, you guys, this is a huge blessing. Uh, years ago, I was pastoring when, when we bought the building. We had uh, five elders, and <clears throat> I was walking through here Thursday going, all the homeschoolers were here. And, um, <clears throat> a building <clears throat> from back in the day that a real estate agent said, uh, you won't be able to buy it, so don't, you can't put it, I'm not going to show it to you. I remember the story. I said, well, then I'm getting a different realtor. Ha ha. He goes, well, there's another business going to outbid you for it. I want to tell you the numbers because I thank God for this. We barely got together $360,000 to buy 12 acres in Crestwood. It appraised for $2.1 million in 1983. And look at it. Look around. I, I, isn't this awesome, Kevin? I mean, thank you, Lord, that you guys have possessed the land and been faithful. So today, I'm going to do songs I know you don't like them. As the deer. Oh, Lord, you're beautiful. I know you, I know you don't like that. Refiner's fire. And then uh, <clears throat> I had to bring back Father, bring together and spirit touch your church. Wow. But here we go deep. We're going to go worship from the top and we're not doing a celebration right now we're just going deep and as the deer panted for the water so my so long if after thee you alone are my heart's desire the deer and as the deer the 
every hand up, raise your hands and begin to sing and worship the living God. at your beauty we gaze at your beauty and oh Lord your beautiful
choose to be.
to pray right now and surrender everything we got. Cars, businesses, homes, our family members. We surrender all. Yeah, yeah. We surrender all to you. Yeah. We surrender all. before the Lord and just do some soft praying right here. Any anxiety, any fear, any hard circumstances, we're putting it to the side. I surrender all. So God, I just take you now as my everything. You cover over all. You cover over all, Lord. First Peter 5, 7. Casting all my cares on you. Casting all my cares on you. Because you first love me. You first love me. Casting all my cares. Casting all my cares. I want you to offload anything that's been bothering you. Shift it over on the Lord right now. He said, I'm good for it. Casting all my cares on you Because you love me Because you love me Casting, casting all my cares on you, Lord Because you love us, God because you're a big, big, big God. But yeah, let it drain out of you right now. It's perfect. Da -da -da -da. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. Holy moments in the presence. Holy moments in the presence of God. Yeah. I surrender all. Oh. I 
I surrender all to you. I surrender. We go free today. We go free today in the fields of the Lord. Come on out and run in the field of the Lord. I surrender all to you. I surrender all to you. I surrender everything, everything to you. Come on, with all your heart, with all your mind. I surrender all to you. I surrender all to you. I surrender everything, everything. Somebody say, all right, then, praise God. Look at your neighbor and say, dude, his presence works. Come on, look at your neighbor and say, hey, this morning, give him a little hug right now. Or we go to, I have a destiny. Yeah. I want you to love on somebody just for a second there. It's a good day for Jesus. Wow. I've had so many people went home to be with the Lord already this year. How many have had a loved one pass in the last two years? Let me see your hands. Dude, it's hard. Joe LaRusso, I was with Harry at the prayer room over G Hop at 4 o'clock on Tuesday. And uh, I didn't really have a lot of grief because Joe was so powerful. But I said, Joe went walking. And he walked right into eternity. It's a great way to look at it because there is sorrow. Somebody, and Sherry was here last night. How many know the LaRussos? How can you not know the LaRussos? <laughs> and Sherry prayed us out last night. But this song, I had almost 10 out of 10, Harry, people. I sent out a list of a top 30 songs. And Harry was like, I have a destiny. How many have a destiny? Do you, oh, wait a minute. That, one, that was weak right there. How many have a destiny that you're going to...
Appreciate Tom, Tim Finkus and your whole team. No, I'm serious. I appreciate these teenagers that are helping me out. Woo. Let's go ahead and be seated, if you would, for just a moment. We're going to release the children in just a minute. The ushers will get ready to receive the morning offering. Welcome to Southgate. If you're a visitor, we're glad you're with us this morning to uh, participate in our morning of worship with uh, Kent and the gang. Uh, I put this, I put a little video on the front of our website several weeks ago. May is kind of a reunion month for us. Um, back in 2003, based on a, a, a literal vision that Vic Gerson had, uh, we began the House of Prayer 16 years ago today. And uh, yeah, you can clap. It's all right. And then for several years, you know, it, it was in this particular building. And at some point, I don't know the exact date, maybe, Vic, what year did Tammy take over? Do you remember? So three years later, three, let's see, 2003. So in 2006, uh, Tammy began to lead the house of prayer. And, and then, so then a couple years later, what was, we used to be called Victory Fellowship here. Victory Fellowship merged with Rivers of Life in May of 2008. And so it's kind of a reunion month for us. And then when we made that, uh, you know, that merger, then the House of Prayer moved over to that building at Lindbergh and Sappington. And so that it had its own kind of domain, you know, place to, to do. And, and I just was, you know, swapping messages with some people this morning. And how many of you are grateful for just the offering of day after day prayer at the House of Prayer these last 16 years? I really am. The hard work of Tammy and Jeff and others. And, and so anyway, uh, this is kind of a reunion month for us. And, and so I thought, what better way to have like a little, little uh, anniversary reunion thing with Kent here? And we just did worship all weekend. You know, it's just kind of what we're about. Anyway, so that's why we're, uh, uh, these things are all kind of linked together. Uh, quickly, are the ushers here? Ushers, come forward. Receive the morning offering. Uh, if you want to give cash this morning and receive tax credit for it, raise your hand. They'll give you an envelope, and uh, you can put that in the offering in just a minute. We're preparing for that. Just a couple of quick things to mention while they're coming. Don't forget to sign up to register for Teens of Victory, for Kids of Victory, for uh, as a camper, as a teen leader or a teen at TOV or as an adult leader. We talked about that a couple of weeks ago. Maybe that was even last week. I don't remember, but... Um, all hands on deck. I posted this week. You know, we expanded to four weeks of KOV this year, and the first three weeks are full. And so we're working on just that fourth week and on the camp in, in, uh, in West County as well. They're both about 50, 60% full. So it's just crazy what's going on with that. We're grateful to God for that. Yes. Um, a couple of quick things that I'm supposed to tell you. That is one of them. 
And I wanted to take a minute today and pray uh, for Israel. How many of you know they came under attack this morning? A bunch of missiles were fired into Israel this morning, and they are retaliating, and uh, people are dying. You know, people are being injured. Buildings are being devastated and so forth. And, and if you're like me, I pray for Israel on a routine basis, but something like will alert us, and, and uh, we want to pray. So let's do that right now before we receive the morning offering. Uh, Lord, all over the world, uh, there's conflict. Lord, we know, you know, Venezuela, things are crazy. And, and our friends in Burkina Faso are constantly coming under more duress, Lord. And uh, so, yeah, we could be praying for any of the, you know, 180, 190 nations of the earth this morning. But we want to invite you today, God, to move supernaturally in Israel. We pray for that precious piece of land, God, that's been so fought over for generations. And, Lord, for the Jewish people in particular, we pray for their protection, for their help, for their covering. Lord, we pray for the peace of Israel this morning. And, Lord, in that particular conflict, we pray that it would come to an end quickly, Lord, just to, you know, save human life. We invite you to move supernaturally in that precious nation. And this morning, Father, as we uh, sow financially into your purposes here at Southgate, we're just grateful for a chance to serve you. Grateful for the opportunity to worship you here this morning, but to just follow you and serve you in our everyday lives. So we commit ourselves and our finances into your hands now in Jesus' name. Amen. You can pass those baskets. Later in the service, by the way, we're going to be taking another offering. Aren't you glad you came? Um, we're going to be taking up an offering for Kent and the, and the ministry that they're doing. I mentioned earlier, for those of you here earlier, there are there's a three... We don't call them albums anymore, do we? Yeah. Three albums set coming out of the weekend, a trilogy of CDs that Ken is putting together that uh, uh, will be available later in the year. And, and so that offering will help defray the cost of, you know, uh, all the different production costs and so forth. We're excited to be partnering with Kent in that particular way. How many of you are glad just to have Kent in the house today? It's just fun, right? <laughs> So let's have the children. Let's all stand together. We're going to pray for the kids. Send them off to the children's ministry areas. Lord, we're so grateful for our little ones. So grateful, Lord, for our sons and our daughters. We pray for the power of your Holy Spirit to rest upon each one of them. God, we ask you this morning for every one of our children to know you in a deep and a profound and a holy way. We pray that in the ministry time that they're going off to now, some of them have already been down the hall in classrooms. Lord, that you would speak, that the supernatural voice of God would be heard in our children's ministry areas this morning. That the presence of God would be strong and rich in the midst of each and every one of our children's ministry areas today. Lord, we pray for each and every one of those men and women that are leading ministry this morning in the different rooms. We pray for the anointing of God. Lord, the anointing of your Holy Spirit to rest upon those that are ministering to the children today. We cry out to you, God, we need all-out revival amongst our children. We need all-out revival, God, amongst our kids. And so we invite you to move supernaturally in this place today. We praise your blessed name. Amen. Children, you can head to your classrooms before Kent takes off on another song because there's going to be a lot of scurrying around here. One other thing I want you to be praying for, I just want to mention to you while the children are heading out, at the end of this month, um, I told you it's kind of anniversary month, at the end of this month, all of our Sheltering Wings missionaries are going to be coming home. They're all coming home for a conference here. Did I get yelled at by somebody? No, I thought somebody yelled at me. Um, they're all coming home for a conference. They're all gathering for a conference here in the, in the area. And so uh, all of them coming home for a brief time, and we want to be praying for them. That God would speak to that ministry, speak to those leaders, and, and, and refurbish and re-strengthen them and give them fresh view and vision about what they're up to. So just the rest of this month, I want to remind you, we want to be praying for our Sheltering Wings missionaries that are out there across the world. All right? God bless you. Ken? All right. 
Well, as the kids are getting out, I'll tell you this story. <clears throat> this is Father Bring Together, the church that bears your name. And I'm going to read the lyrics to you. Carl Michener wrote this years ago. Uh, I'm not sure. I'd like to contact Carl somehow. <clears throat> and then these were Spirit Touch Your Church with Miss Kim Bollinger were two of the deepest songs written back in that era. And if you uh, check this out, Father Bring Together, the church that bears your name. And uh, Kim, what year would it have been? Yeah, 90 or 91, which Mike Bickle at the International House of Prayer said, Kent, you were doing this before there was language for it. They're calling on my life. Matter of fact, I had a really cool event happen when I was here at rehearsal uh, for Nate and Matt on Saturday night. I walked down into the parking lot. You can be seated for a minute. I walked down to the parking lot about 630 and it all came back to me. Oh, my Lord. When I was 29 or 30 years old and I knew we were transitioning the church to Harry, my good friend, I stood on the parking lot right here in Crestwood, Missouri. Historically, it's so meaningful to me. I said, Lord, are you changing my calling? He goes, no, you're my prophetic errand boy. You go where I tell you to go. You do what I tell you to do. You say what I tell you to say. And that's what I've done my whole life. I've never led worship for people. I've always led worship for Jesus. There's a difference. Worship leaders got it. They got it inverted. We better take care. We better, you know, no, no, you better follow the Holy Spirit. So I stood on the parking lot. All of a sudden, it all came back to me. Secondly, Jesus, like almost an audible voice to me, he said, Kent, teach my body how to intermingle praise with prayer and worship with intercession. I'll say it again. Super personal, super personal from Jesus. He said, Kent, I want you to teach my, he didn't say my people. He said my body. He didn't say my church, my congregation. He said, I want you to teach the body of Christ how to intermingle praise with prayer and worship the intercession. These are some of the first songs of that era out of the 80s, the scripture songs um, that actually released an understanding of true harp and bowl ministry is real simple. It's called worship and music. We gave it the high level name out of Revelation 5. Harp and bowl, bro, what is that? Is that, I don't know. Is that a dance club or, you know, what is that, a dance group? You know, I said, no, harp and bowl is worship and music with prayer added on top of zealous worship. The devil hates it. Have you noticed that? And we say, nani, nani, boo, boo, that's what you get, man. We're going to keep doing it. We're going to keep doing worship and prayer, not until the cows come home, but until Jesus comes back again. Wow, Jesus is coming back again. I don't hear many men or women preaching it anymore. But remember back in the 70s, Maranatha? Can anybody tell me what it means? The Lord cometh. Yep. It's King James, Harry. Yeah, <laughs> the Lord cometh. So these songs right here. Go ahead, Carl. Set that click, man. I love it. Father, bring together the church that bears your name. And fill us with the passion to proclaim that Jesus reigns. And pour oil on our prayer and let your spirit come. We'll fight against the darkness. Don't let the flame die down.
Father, will and Father bring together the church that bears your name. Fill us with the passion to proclaim that Jesus reigns.
touch your spirit, Lord. Great awakening, spirit touch your church. Great awakening.
shout of victory is in this house. Somebody say
that's where the drummer takes over. <laughs> Carl, everybody say, hey, Carl, what's up, bro? <laughs> this is Carl Albrecht, my drummer. He did the National Worship Conference with us. I want you to be seated for a minute. <laughs> Dude, it was so good. Um, I forget what service it was now, but we did Holy, Holy, Holy Lord. We're recording the top 30, which is ending up to be 33 when I had 45. <laughs> they came down, but... Uh, we uh, he started playing with a click going in our ears here. <clears throat> he started playing outside of time. I said, well, "Just go ahead." Then no, he, it was like so cool. It was like a drum offering before the Lord. I still believe in that stuff. Do you guys? Amen. Romans twelve one and two. We offer ourselves as living sacrifices. That's a cool thing about victory into Southgate and whatever other names we had in between. That you guys are deep worshipers. I mean, I thank you for that. And I believe that we're one inch away from a great awakening that would sweep through the heartland. I'm believing Missouri, Illinois, Kansas, they're seeing some realms of glory, not uh, like Brownsville or Toronto. I mean, but where, where people are getting struck by the presence of God and falling under the conviction of sin. Some may say, all right, <clears throat> man, it's something else. Well, I'm going to go back. I was reading my charts up here. I skipped the song, Turn My Heart. I think we better go back. They said, Kent, you're, you'll get three demerits if you, you don't do that. So let me get in the, you remember the song, Turn My Heart? Yes. Oh, look at the, <laughs> the heads are shaking. Let's make sure I'm in the right key here. <laughs> I don't you remember the click for that car? Oh, look at it. Turn my heart, oh.
Consuming fire, you're my heart's desire, and I love you dear, dearly. You're my meditation.
wow, these are the holy moments, man. I would have never guessed on that, Mr. Schrader. As you be seated, we're going to do to you, Jesus, and you have called us out of darkness. Because you have called us out of darkness, it's actually on the live recording where Harry sent me a note. During the worship, we're going a couple hours. He goes, Kent, you have no guts. If you don't do, you have called us out of darkness. He said, I made the joke. He said, you're excommunicated from the church. If you don't do, you have called us out. Let's do that one first, bro. I mean, let's get the click right on that. I don't want to miss that. Maybe fall out and get slain, and then I'm in trouble or something. Never mind. That's right. Uh, we're over in F. Let's see where I'm at right now. Yeah, you have to stand up. should be seated out because this song uh, to you jesus um the song i wrote i want to tell a story about it um 
We did I Have Loved You last night. And we said, well, that's a song to us from the Lord. And it's not, we're singing to him. But I didn't leave it off because it's uh, Jeremiah, I Have Loved You with Interesting Love. I was in uh, at Belmont Church in Nashville. And uh, <clears throat> this guy was a session player, musician. And I did this song on Friday night and Saturday morning during training. He goes, Ken, you got to be kidding me. That's one of the coolest songs I've ever heard. I said, really, man? Again, I almost didn't record that because it's odd. It looks like it's in the key of A. And then it goes to G, messing everybody up. But I just want you to hear it for a minute before we start clicking. It. To you, Jesus. My Lord. I've learned now to worship only you. I learned through the years, did you? Yeah. To you, Jesus. My God, I give you my life again and all I do to you, Jesus. My God, I've learned now to worship only you to you, Jesus. My God, I give you my life again. And this is what I'm trying to get to right here. From the place of adoration. From the place of bending knees. Lifting up holy hands, lifting up holy hearts, lifting up holy hands, lifting up holy hearts, all my days and sacrifices, all my days and sacrifices, all my days and sacrifices, go to you.
his heart. I want you to release just a pastoral blessing, Harry. Collect your thoughts for a minute. Dude, I love these moments. I receive a blessing as the man of God prays over me today. Learned years ago, receive.
And so we ask this morning, God, that you would stir our hearts into a place of radical, uh, consistent, fervent fellowship and intimacy with you. God, I pray for these wonderful people, God, that you would move in such a way that our hearts, God, would continue to lean more and more into your heart, God, that our lives would lean more and more closer to you. We sang earlier, Lord, about we we sang the prayer, turn our hearts, oh God. Turn our hearts, God, more and more toward you. Would you, by your grace, God, we're weak and frail. Would you move our hearts, God, into a place of devotion? Would you move my heart, my mind, my motives, my desires, God, more and more in line with yours? Would you do that in this place, in this people? God, would you awaken us to how beautiful you are? God, would you awaken us to how lofty and noble and beautiful and holy you are? God, that we wouldn't stay in a place, Lord, of just kind of getting through and kind of existing along. But instead, God, as as I was reading this morning, you promised you would baptize us with the Holy Spirit. God, I'm praying for a fresh baptism of the Holy Spirit in this group of people and across our city today, God. A baptism of the Holy Spirit, Jesus, where we don't stay the same, but instead, God, we are pulled along with the purpose and the plans that are in your heart, the passions that are in your heart, the longings that are in your heart, oh God. Oh, we're singing these words, hallelujah, only found in the New Testament after Babylon has fallen. Lord, we pray, let Babylon fall in our hearts today. Let Babylon fall out, God, fall in our hearts, that we might truly lift up a hallelujah about the judgment of all those things that are in, have been in my life, God, that I've allowed to remain there. Oh, my God. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Let Babylon fall, God, not just in the nations or in our nation, but in us. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Let Babylon fall out of my life, God. Be judged in my life. Rejoice in you, God. All of our thoughts, our meditations, our sacrifices, we're just singing that song, are in you, God. Let let our thoughts, our processes, our our yearnings, our desires be found in you, God. That's our longing. That's our desire, God, today, that we might be more aligned, more linked in with you and your holy passions. Remind us, God, of your beauty and your glory and your love and your affection. Remind us of what you're like, Lord. We bless your mighty name, Jesus. Jesus. Rejoice in you today, Jesus. Rejoice in your mercy in our lives, your favor in our lives, God. We're grateful that you called us out of darkness. You brought us into your marvelous light. We're so grateful, God, that you rescued us from that pit that we were living in and brought us into a broad place, God, of joy and purpose and destiny. We rejoice in that, Jesus. Well, amen. Amen. Wow. amen. Do the sure. Oh, amen. Yeah, you can clap. It's all right. It occurs to me that we still need to learn how to praise and worship. Isn't that right? We're still trying to learn. We're still trying to learn. I was talking to Luke over there the other day on the phone, and we used to have t- uh, painted on the back wall, trying to learn what's pleasing to the Lord. And uh, we just want to try to learn it, right? What does it mean to please and bless the Lord? Amen. Well, we're going to receive an offering here at the very end uh, to bless and to pay for the project that we've been working on all weekend. And so if the ushers would come forward, get ready to receive that offering. If you're going to write a check this after this morning, um, you're going to make it out to Kent Henry Ministries. 
you want to give cash, just like before, raise your hand. The ushers will give you an envelope, and you can receive tax credit for that. Kent was telling me that probably the project would cost something like, well, north of $10,000. And uh, and so we want to just pay all that off this weekend. And, uh, well, I heard Matt say amen back there. And uh, so, uh, so we want to be generous, right? We want to be a part of this. The next time you talk to somebody, you go, what do you do? Well, I'm a record producer. <laughs> Executive producer. What do you mean you're a producer? I, I, I help fund producer. music projects through my offerings. And uh, so anyway, we were excited about this project coming out. So are you going to do one more song after that? You are excited. Okay. So while you're getting ready to do that, we're going to do one final thing after we do this. We're going to take the offering. Kent's going to lead us to this song. And then, and then this, I, I just felt this all morning long, that there are a number of you in this place that have a sense of a calling of the Lord to be more and more involved in this kind of activity, worship, worship ministry, musicianship, if that's a word. Uh, and, and I just, as we're singing this last song, this is what I want you to do. I want you to invite the Lord to show you where you belong in terms of that uh, musical ministry. I believe there are some of you that God's been kind of trying to wake up this weekend to say yes to the Lord about singing or playing or maybe working in the tech part or whatever it might be, but, but applying your heart and your life into seeing worship ascend, worship arise in the body of Christ here. It might be at the house of prayer or in your local church if you're a visitor this morning, but I believe the Lord wants to stir up worship and praise and musical gifts in this group of people that have been here this weekend. So let's pray together. Lord, we're grateful for a weekend together of worshiping you and kind of reclaiming some of the things, some of those songs, God, that maybe have been tucked away as, well, they were there and, and we did them and they were great. And Lord, but, but you've caused us to, to reach back into something and, and bring it right back into our, pre, into our present and into the purposefulness for which you wrote those songs through precious human beings. Lord, I'm always amazed by those people that write songs. I'm so blessed that they write them, God. I pray, God, all the different people that wrote those various songs we sang this weekend, Lord, would you bless them today? Would you bless them today? God, I pray that somewhere around the country and around the nations, the people that wrote these songs, God, that this morning, even this morning, they'd have a sense of the reality of the purpose of God in their lives in a fresh way. They won't even know we sang their song this morning, but they will be reinvigorated and stirred up and, and, and refreshed, God, by the idea that, that you're still using their lives. Lord, we do want to ask you to fully fund the projects that we've been working on this weekend that Kent and his family and the ministry there are working on. We pray for an abundant blessing financially, encourage their hearts, uh, and strengthen them with every technical thing that has to take place related to the producing of these uh, CDs. So we ask you for that, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. You can pass the baskets. and Thank you, Harry. I appreciate it. Um, Hey, listen, I want to make sure I tell you on the way out, Carla Ray, my wife, 43 years, so it'll be 44. She made a bunch of old stuff and we are selling it like hotcakes. It's pretty weird. Like purify, the, uh, purify my heart was one of our top. So when you go out, uh, everything's 10 bucks or three for 25 or whatever. I'd be really remiss. Also, uh, Carl Albrecht's been our drummer. Say, hey, Carl, again, we appreciate you, buddy. And this... This is my son, Matt Henry. I know he's better looking than me, but I claim him all right, straight up. No, he's been killing on bass and stuff. This is Cameron Walker, Kingsley Walker's son from LifeGate Church in St. Charles. And you guys, do you know these three people right here? <laughs> you better know right now. I just want to give a special thanks to Abigail. She is up here, pregnant Susie, killing it. And, and then that all, come on, put your hands together for the whole band and stuff. I appreciate it. Now, you're going to have to get to your feet. There's no way you can sit during this. I hear.
exalted on high. your neighbor and say, dude, you're a huge history maker. Don't forget it. Come on, give us my high five. You guys are dismissed. Thanks for coming out today. I want to say thanks to Harry and the Elder Southgate crew for having us this week, and I really appreciate the hospitality. Have a great Sunday. Eat some fried chicken. That might be good right there. Oh, you yeah, called. Okay, go ahead, man.